Hey everybody, welcome to the Yoga Shred 20 minute practice for whole body transformation. I'm here in Santa Barbara and this is my home here. Isn't that nice? It's like I live in a tree house. So today we're going to get right to it. We'll do three shreds today. One is very challenging, so I'll give you some variations. And let's really tone and trim and sculpt your whole body with the Yoga Shred, which if you don't know yet, is my signature blend of yoga poses, yoga flow, and then we move into a fast twitch, muscle activating, cardio activating yoga shred portion. And you'll be moving a little bit faster in some of these really cool movements, but also safer on the joints because I built them all from yoga anatomy and alignment and Western anatomy as well. So some of the old hit poses uh, that you might see out there can be really tough on your joints and cause impact in a negative way. So today I'll give you those variations and let's see if you can rock this one with me. All right, let's begin here in your easy seat. Place one foot in front of the other and just spread the thighs wide and the, and the sitting flesh back there. Just take that back and wide so you're very grounded today. Plant your hands on your knees and begin to inhale and exhale slowly through your nose. So this, the yoga flow portion of your warm up, just nice nose breathing, rhythmic inhales down to the belly. Give yourself an inhale and a relaxation in the whole pit of the belly, the pelvis, even the lower back. But on your exhale, do the opposite. Squeeze your pelvic muscles in and up, low belly in and up a little, and press the exhale out. This will begin to stabilize the muscles of your pelvis, your spine, and your sacrum from the inside create heat and really spark a lot of that digestion and metabolism that you need to be truly fit inside and out. So again, inhale down, relax, warm and widen the belly, the low back, the pelvic floor. Exhale, squeeze inward and upward. And just really press all that breath out, 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 toe the core. Inhale, breathe down. I see all your hearts and highs. Exhale, just breathe it out through the nose. Good, one more time. Inhale, breathe down and wide. Think of rooting down for miles as you inhale. And exhale, hug and lift all the way, all the way, all the way. <laughs> you guys are making me laugh. Now inhale, plant your hands on your knees. Face the front of your mat. Lean yourself forward and open up your heart. Exhale, curl it in and just wave from side to side. Open the back body. Inhale, lean forward, open the heart. Now wave from side to side here too. So you stretch the spine, the waist. Exhale, next time, curl back. Take two or three breaths each time you do this and breathe around. Inhale and move at your own pace. Exhale. Little wavy, gravy, snaky spine here. Inhale. Side to side as you're forward and exhale all the way back. Now when you're back, plant your hands down behind you, fingertips face forward. Inhale, open your chest here, stretch. If that's a lot for your wrist, then come to your fingertips. Exhale, curl back, bend the elbows. Inhale, open the chest, stretch your shoulders. Exhale, good. And again, inhale, lift, lift. Exhale it down. Inhale, lean forward, stretch to the sky. And now just start to kind of wave yourself down as you bring the hands forward. It looks something like this. So you're just waving around a little bit. As you get to the floor, walk yourself to one side. Breathe open the spine and ribs. And then your other side. Breathe it out. Play around in there with a few breaths. So we're opening all the different areas of your body. You will be working in a moment. We're getting right into the shreds today. So breathe it out. Good. And the next time you come towards center, plant your hands down, really strong palms, tuck the toes under, and just a nice light stretch of the legs back into your downward facing dog. Walk yourself in place, one leg stretch, and then the other. Let's just gently warm it up, bend the knees, take a deep breath here. Exhale, lift your belly and come forward, plank pose. Inhale, you can always have your forearms down if your wrists are wonky. Exhale, forward. And one more inhale. And exhale. 
Good. Inhale, bend it back. And on your exhale, press your hands down and hop up toward the center of your mat. Feet are hip distance, knees bent. Lift your belly, inhale. And on your exhale, just wave it from side to side over the legs. Very gentle, easy forward fold. Walk from side to side on those gecko hands. We call them gecko asana. Fingertips, like a tree frog maybe. Come back to center. Walk to the other side. All right, come center, lift the belly, and exhale, full. Reach back, stretch your arms out, just nice and light stretch, bent knees, bent elbows. Give a little straightening here to the legs. Don't worry about stretching them too much until you're really warm, which you will be in exactly four minutes. <laughs> Inhale, lift the belly, and exhale, fold it down. Good, plant your hands down. Let's just practice this next shred. So we'll plant the hands down, fingertips wide. You can step back with bent knees, lift your belly though to kind of halfway between a plank and a dog, somewhere that feels comfortable for you. And you always wanna step or jump back with bent knees to protect the back, belly lifted up. We'll inhale, bend the elbows back a little, knees. Exhale, hop back where you were. Come up toward a chair pose. Hips and knees slide back and then you can Lift up if you want the heels. You can just come up or you can even hop up like that. So these are yoga shred burpees. They're safer and they'll get more muscles and less joints on impact. So we'll plant the hands, step or hop back, hop forward, do something there, okay? If that's a lot for you today, just step one leg back, lunge, come back and do your thing. And then the other leg back, do your thing. So that's a nice alternate. All right. So we will do four rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 off. You better drink some water right now. I'll tell you that. This one's getting the heart rate up, up, up. Okay. So begin with me. Round one of four here. Plant the hands. Step or hop back. Belly lifts. Hop it forward. Hands forward. Take a little hop there. Always do it again. Always land with hips and knees sliding back. Okay, that's round one. Breathe it out here. So get used to the form first and then start to speed it up a little bit more. Plant your hands. Here we go. Round two. Step or hop back and forward. Hips and knees back to protect the joints. And come on up. Try it again. Good. And maybe once more if you're going at this clip and then let's rest it out. Walk it out from side to side. Now, as your heart rate rises, start to breathe through your mouth. Here we go. Round three, plant your hands. Bend those knees upon impact, hips back. Take a nice little hop. This one tones your entire body and cardio system better than almost anything else. That's why everybody does it. Do your best and keep breathing. All right, walk it out. How you doing? If you're watching at home, root people on right now. <laughs> they need it. Okay, come back to center. Plant the hands, fingertips super strong. Hop back, you can go at your own pace. I'm just showing you the moves. Breathe through the mouth, lots of exhaling. All right, walk it out from side to side. Can we do four more rounds? I think we can. <laughs> Let's try the whole four minute round, burpee style. All right, so plant your hands, round five. Hop it back, hop forward, and you can always just pop it up, but really tone those glutes. Heels down into the earth, whatever you're doing. Do it in great yoga alignment and hit style movement. Walk it out, rest 10 seconds. So this is the proper hit timing to give you the most benefits in the least amount of time. Let's go around six. Wow, so cool. And you can always chip away. Rest, walk around. Breathe through the mouth. 
If you ever need to rest it out, keep moving. Just take a lap. Woo, yoga burpees. All right, I'm gonna add in a little challenge. <laughs> so do it if you want or keep doing what you've been doing. Plant your hands, step or hop back, one knee to chest and then the other. <laughs> Run this burpee and then hop it forward, feet wide. <sighs> Pop it up, plant the hands. Next one, <sighs> take a little run. <laughs> Why not? Good. <sighs> Rest 10 seconds, breathe through the mouth. Why yogis? Because you need more oxygen, a lot more right now. All right, I think this might be the last round. It is, oh my gosh, we've almost made it. Maybe a little faster, maybe a bit of a run in between. Do something that really transforms you, but doesn't completely overwhelm you. And maybe two hops for good luck. Wow, my heart rate is way up. I hope yours is too, safely. <laughs> so big inhales and exhales now. Yes, you did it, that is major. Okay, so next shred will look like this. You'll come down, keep breathing of course, plant your forearms down, knees wide, put a blanket under if you need, and we'll be kicking away what no longer serves you. Alternate challenge here, you can also place your hands, shoulder distance, and just turn them in a little bit, so, Press there or turn them forward, elbows back. So you're not winging elbows back with fingers forward, you're just hugging them in. So find the hand placement that works for you. <laughs> if you like those burpees, you're my kind of person. All right, I see some hearts. It's like thanking the dentist for a root canal, but you're welcome. Here we go. Right leg lifts. Press the floor away with forearms or palms as you kick. This one is so great. For the booty, the low back, hamstrings, and arms. Find the exhales and make them fierce. Yeah, to stretch and rest it out, come to sit, open up, and then get ready, round two, right side. Firm plant of fingertips or forearms. And I want you to really press as if you're pressing down into the very core of the earth itself. As you're doing this, Nice jackhammer style, which means faster. Tabletop fierce kick here. All right, they creep up on you, so keep good form here. Stretch out, breathe. A little tongue out, never hurt anybody. All right, really reach, lift, and press. So you're exhaling on exertion, on the kick and the press. Everything bends in, in between. Two more, really nice. Come on back, stretch it out. How you doing? Don't answer that, keep breathing. <laughs> Plant your hands. So if your wrists are okay, but they tend to get a little strained, you always want the shoulder joints coming back, away from your wrists instead of forward over the wrist. That will bend the wrist less. You'll feel more comfortable. This is your last round, five seconds left on your right side. And kick it out, real nice. Come back to center, open, stretch. Breathe with me, shamelessly. Plant it down, left side this time, okay? So inhale, get close to the earth, and then super dedicate as you press the ground away. And I want you to really get nice form first before you speed up. Come on back, rest, stretch, reach it up, plant it down. Here we go. Round two of four, almost done with these challenging ones and we're going for a nice belly bonfire. So go for this. Kick upward so you feel your glutes fire back there. Nice. 
and we get the nice counter glute stretch here by sitting. Plant it down, three of four. You got this, ready? Yeah! I wanna hear wild and ferocious. All those people that made you feel small, all those doubts internally that tend to constrict you and shut you down, open it up, make space, get brighter and more fierce. Come back to rest. That one is really nice. This one, total lion or lioness power now. Especially when the intensity starts to build. And if you can go a bit faster, that's when you need your breath and dedication to making that space you deserve for your own light to shine when we're kick. Yeah. Awesome work. Come back, stretch, open the arms all the way up, exhale down, inhale up again and down. Keep the breath and the body moving. Hope your heart rate is up a bit. This is the cardio that yoga alone will not give you. It just doesn't. And the sculpting defining fast twitch muscles that Kate gives you that yoga does not. So now we have a perfect exercise form, adding some of these moves to the yoga practice. Inhale. Woo, mama. Exhale, down. Last round of hit here. So take your drink, take a moment, breathe it out, move it out. It's going to be our belly bonfires. Now, belly bonfire, let's start here. Remember those running planks? Fingertips under the skull, we'll alternate here, okay? We'll alternate like that or legs up. Four rounds, then we'll stretch it out and do four rounds of the belly toning and flattening technique that is just lying flat. So first round of four, here we go. Gonna be bent knees and pick them up or legs up in the air, go for it. Curl your shoulders up, curl your shoulder blades up until they're just at the base of the shoulder blades and then go as quickly as you can. Good. To rest, just put the feet down, stretch it out. Yay. Fingertips underneath, lift it up and go. So this is really nice for toning some of those obliques, side waist muscles, side abs, and spinal core muscles like the psoas, your deep secret ninja superpower core. So you wanna get this going, toning, and then we'll stretch it out when we're done. Okay, keep the knees bent just for now. We'll straighten them in a bit. Lots of breath. Okay, and run it out. So remember, you can leave questions and comments after this workout. I check them all just after the workout. Stop by, say hi, or root on these warriors doing this right now. A Little faster maybe, two more seconds. Awesome, stretch, intake the breath, exhale it out a lot, full exhales. Yes, lift it up. So <laughs> this also burns fat really quickly. For the next two days, you'll burn calories. You'll optimize your metabolism to be higher, up to 15% higher for about two days. That's why these burn so many calories over time. So make sure you're nourishing. Two more seconds. Yeah, place it down, reach and stretch. Isn't science cool? 20 minutes goes a long way. All right, now this one, stretch your legs straight and come on up with me. Similar movement with the top body. You're just curling up. So get that chin away from your chest and neck, lift it. And think about lifting your elbows toward the sky. Good. So this will tone that transverse abdominis and rectus too. So you'll get a little tone and trim here. All right, next round. Legs are stretching. That's good for the psoas and hip flexor area here at the front of the hips. So while you're doing this, 
Really lift the elbows toward the sky instead of crunching toward your feet. And that will give you that tone and that belly burn that you're looking for. If you weren't looking for it today, now, now you are. Reach long now through the, through the hands and the feet. Leg, spine stretches. Come on up. Here's our next round. This is three of four. So if you're not feeling the belly bonfire, which means a nice heat here, um, then go a bit faster and really rest your head back in your hands. So you're using less chest and arms, more abs. Good, rest it out. Just one more round to go today. Yes, stretch, stretch, fingertips plant. One more, you can transform this together. Here we go. So elbows again, try to point them up toward the sky as if you're lifting your heart upward instead of down toward the pubic bone. This should be nice and tony. You just have five more seconds. Yes, awesome work. Stretch it out. Reach long through one arm and one leg. Yes, and then the other. So if you want this timer, it's on my app. I'll leave the link below in the comments. You can have your own yoga shirt timer. So you can figure out exactly how to do these moves in the best time. Come back to center now. I want you to move both feet over to the left. And then with your left hand, grab your right wrist and moon shape your head and shoulders over toward the left a little. Breathe into that whole right side now. So a nice side stretch. And this should also help really release and open the side abs, the spine, and the psoas there. Come back to center. Now reverse the clasp. So right hand to left wrist. And everything, head, neck, shoulders, arms go over to the right. Feet creep over to the right. You can even cross your left leg over your right and just a nice opening breath there for the left side. You breathe through your mouth until you can reclaim that nose breathing. And then you get back to that rhythmic central nervous system balancing yoga breath. Come back to center, stretch, stretch. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll circles one way and then the other and just stir the cauldron of that fiery, amazing belly full of mojo now, creativity, self-nourishment, fire. So from here, you can continue on with your own yoga stretches if you like or just reach it out, stretch it out and come into your Shavasana. Final resting pose. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth and relax. <sighs> Melt everything. Melt your muscles, melt your bones, melt your worries and fears into that ocean from which they came. Let yourself be calm and clear, washed away, swimming. And as your heart rate cools down, so will your body in the shape of a new transforming you. Thank you so much for joining me here. Stay here for a couple of minutes or more until you're ready to move on with your beautiful day. And remember, if you want to keep this, then you've got to share it on your own page. That way you'll have it in your videos and you can do it and repeat it with me anytime you want. So I hope you enjoyed this today and I will see you in the comments below and see you soon. Namaste.